The Biden-Harris White House may be implicated in the second assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump, given the alleged shooter's background and government connections, according to former NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden. While details remain scarce, the alleged shooter's involvement in military activities in Ukraine raises questions about whether this White House's agencies can truly claim they have clean hands. There's a definite Oswald vibe here. Congress needs to investigate, Snowden wrote on X on Sunday. The suspect, 58-year-old Ryan Ruth, was reportedly a mercenary recruiting fighters for the Ukrainian front line. According to the New York Times, Ruth even recruited Afghan soldiers who had fled the Taliban to fight for Ukraine and was profiled positively for his efforts in 2023. Ruth's recruiting efforts also got him an interview with Newsweek in 2022, where he appealed for more Americans to volunteer in the fight for Ukraine. His social media profiles, later removed by Facebook and X, showed him to be a fervent anti-Trump Democrat who was sympathetic to Ukraine's battle against Russia. FEC records reveal that Ruth was a registered Democrat who donated to several candidates, including Senator Elizabeth Warren, Beto O'Rourke, Andrew Yang, and former Representative Tulsi Gabbard in 2019 and 2020. As Snowden noted, Ruth likely had ties to US intelligence agencies under the Biden administration due to his close connections with the Ukrainian government. For example, in 2023, the New York Times reported that Ruth met with the Helsinki Commission, also known as the Commission on Security and Cooperation in Europe, CSCE, an independent US government agency established by Congress in 1975. There is no question that this guy had overlap with national security agencies, human events editor and former naval intelligence officer Jack Posobiec stated on Sunday. Many social media users have speculated that this second assassination attempt could be part of a government conspiracy, considering Ruth's connections to the Ukrainian government and possible US agency links, as well as the fact that he knew Trump's whereabouts, which were not publicly disclosed. This incident comes just two months after another shooter, Thomas Crooks, attempted to assassinate Trump at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania on July 13th. 